So for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, I'm Arnel. And uh, well, I'm all about uh, book reviews and travel. So these are the two major contents that I do, along with the other uh, secondary topics uh, that would concern about uh, teaching writing or attending educational events and others. But these are the main uh, contents that I do. I do book reviews and travel events. But because of the pandemic, we are doing away, we are postponing uh, travel, but focus more on books, uh, the teaching of writing, and other relevant blogs. So, uh, I'm just preparing my morning routine. Uh, so, I'm multitasking. So, as a vlogger, uh, we have to be uh, good at multitasking. So, I would like to uh, congratulate you for making the first step. So, if you are a student, you would like to learn. Uh, educational stuff about uh, writing, about uh, reading. Uh, so this vlog is for you. So congratulations uh, uh, for making that decision to click this vlog. And uh, this vlog is also for teachers. If you would want to learn how to teach writing or even use the some of the book reviews that I do for your students, you can also do that. But uh, there are a few things that I would like to for you to do before we start. So first, make sure that you subscribe to this uh, channel so just look for the red button uh, down here and that uh, to always uh, finish the blog from the start to the end and I'm a blogger who would uh, publish or broadcast at least so I I'm a blogger you broadcast at least three videos a week so that is how I uh, keep my work plan uh, updated and to start with our lecture series, now this is part of the lecture series that I already started uh, with the first one. So basically, this lecture series is titled uh, uh, Basic Thesis Writing. And just please uh, view that blog, the first one. And then this is the second one. So we are trying to simplify. We are making use of the minimalist approach known as Occam's Razor. So that is a minimalist approach in presenting our videos to our viewers. So I'm trying to make this uh, brief lecture, but worthwhile to view. So this is a brief lecture, but the more detailed lecture with exercises and activities are found in my Applied Linguistics uh, blog spot, which is here on top of my banner. You can click this or you may click the exact link for this, this particular video. So for every video that I'm presenting on lectures, the complete lecture version of that is included in my Applied Linguistics blog spot, where the link is in my, in my description. Or you can visit my blog site here. Just click the banner Applied Linguistics. Okay, so to start with this lecture, uh, let us make a bit of a review. So, so far we already learned that the foundation of writing is really reviewing the patterns of essay development. And that it is important to be clear with the patterns first. So if you're a student learning how to write this difficult process, it's important that you should be clear uh, of the ideas that you are writing. So whether are they description, are they narration, are they expository, argumentative uh, patterns. No? So with this second lecture on how to become a good thesis writer, it is important to think of the pattern. In writing, writing as I said in the previous lecture, writing is just like playing basketball. It's a skill. So you're developing a skill. Same thing in writing. You have to develop that skill, well, the basic skills, before you proceed to the more difficult skills. No? So, let us start by giving you some sort of a analogy that writing is just like learning a pattern first, that structure. You need to have that structure or pattern for you to be able to write, just like building a house. right? So, to build a house, you should have a blueprint. So the architect will have to prepare a blueprint for you to be able to come up with building uh, a house. So to make it more uh, concrete, it's just like creating a scaffold. That scaffold is based on a blueprint. 
this scaffolding will be the basis for the posts, for the building of the foundation, the post, and the segmentation of the parts of the house. So same thing in writing, right? So, so we are we are clear that in writing there has to be that pattern. So you need to organize the pattern first, which is just similar in learning how to compute numbers in math. In mathematics, there is such thing as a pattern also. You follow a pattern in order for you to be able to compute for a solution for a given problem. So in this case, I'm going to post to you a pattern of numbers and then you have to tell me what series in math is this. So I know that this is writing, but this is interesting. So I'm posting a challenge. Please identify what pattern is being used here in this series of numbers. So while I am multitasking, so now I'm going to attend mass online first. So this is part of my morning routine. So I'll leave you with a challenge while I'm going to attend mass. So attend mass, I mean online. So I need to prepare. So while you're answering this series of numbers that will be posted after this slide. So, uh, so good luck. So you may go online for this. You may want to try to see how is the pattern. So what is a pattern or series here in this particular given a series of numbers okay so uh, good luck with this challenge you may go online if you want to while i am attending uh, the mass so i'll just have to prepare my candles and all see you later So how do you how do you find the, the exercise? So in fact that's a challenge. Uh, so what's the answer? So what's the pattern? Okay, so you have one one two three five eight thirteen uh, five eight thirteen twenty one thirty four. So what's the answer? Uh, call this series or pattern. So the pattern is Fibonacci series in math. So. In, in writing, just the same. So you need to figure out the pattern for you to be able to, to know how to properly write your essay. So same thing in mathematical skills, figure out what's the pattern. So in this case, Fibonacci series is each number, each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Uh, each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. So that's according to Rollins and Metzger, uh, 2012. So this is uh, an academic paper that I have here in the book. So writer's way. So this is the writer's way. So it's uh, according to Rollins and Metzger that uh, this pattern would make sense. So we need to establish the pattern. We need to be aware of the pattern in order that we would be able to come up with an organized writing of the essay. Be clear with your point or thesis. Be logical in stating specific support. Be organized in connecting your supporting details. Be open to revisions for accuracy. Point and support in a paragraph by Langan 2005. A paragraph is a brief set of ideas stated in a group of words consisting of about 150 to 200 words. It consists of a topic sentence which is followed by a series of sentences as the supporting details. It is suggested by Rollins and Metzger 2012 that a paragraph to be concise it has to be in seven sentences according to cognitive psychologists an average human brain can only process at least seven items so i suggest that a paragraph to be concise it has to be 
at these four to seven sentences. In this particular lecture, we will be analyzing Diane Wood's essay entitled The Hazards of Movie Going. You can Google this essay. There is an available free copy online. Or you may visit AppliedLinguistics101.blogspot.com for the link. Take note of the significance of detailed support or evidence. Do you think the supporting details are pieces of evidence to why the writer is advancing her point? Are Diane's supporting details relevant to her thesis? So these are the questions that you are going to answer after reading the essay entitled The Hazards of Movie Going. In detailed evidence, the author provides explanation by stating an idea or claim that watching movies at a theater can be annoying. The evidence is composed of series of apprehensions or factors that contribute to the writer's annoyance in this case. It includes anecdotes, personal experiences, facts, statistics, and opinion of the experts. In Diane's essay, as any effective writing paper, the paragraph has two important components. A point is advanced, and a point is then supported. To outline the paragraph, aids you to comprehend clearly the basic components. Parts of an essay. Introductory paragraph. It consists of sentences appealing or enticing the interest of the reader. It states the point, thesis, or the central idea. It presents the plan of development or a quick survey or a sneak peek of the main ideas in support of the central idea or the thesis. The body or supporting paragraphs. It is suggested that there has to be at least three major supporting ideas. Each paragraph in support of the thesis statement or the central idea has a topic sentence. Concluding paragraph. It presents a synthesis to the ideas stated in the writer's essay, mentioning the central idea again, and sometimes the major support. Usually, it provides an insightful thought, examination, or implications about the motif of the paper. And so I thank you for uh, joining me in this, in this lecture and I hope to see you in my other lectures. So please, uh, if you want me to continue vlogging, uh, lectures like this and other contents uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, at the bottom down here and also please uh, do not forget to visit apply linguistics 101blogspotcom on my banner just please click uh, apply linguistics and it will direct you to the lectures no? all the complete detailed lectures of my blogs uh, are, are found in the blog site with the exercises uh, activities. So, if you're a teacher wanting to teach some of the some of the some of the lectures, uh, you might want to use some of the strategies that I'm using. You might uh, use this blog or even the lectures in the Applied Linguistics 101.blogspot.com. So, thank you very much for your support. See you later.